because all of the evidence could disappear, could be destroyed. There's certain questions that can never really, I suppose, be answered in this story. KJ is dead, I can't interview him. Kirk Anderson, uh, this may change at some point in the future, although I doubt it, is never going to agree to an interview. He is never going to say um, what happened, or at the very least provide his version of what happened in that cottage in Devon. There are moments in the movie where I feel that, that I've gotten close to something like the truth, although I can't be sure. And that's the moment when Kent Gavin says that nobody Yes, it's one of the fascinating things about Joyce as a character. Despite all of this tawdriness, the allegations, etc., etc., there is something quite virginal, yes, and pure about her. And that makes the story even more remarkable. <laughs> it's New York City. Uh, Errol, uh, th this film, this film I've heard you talk about being sort of surprised that it got made so quickly. Uh, uh, there's, um, there's often a... An Under a decade. <laughs> And I, I wonder how that is, what, what, and uh, what made this film come together more quickly than than, than other films. Uh, I really only interviewed six people, and I used all six of those interviews. Um, I shot no reenactments for a whole number of reasons. Among them. Tired of hearing people complain <laughs> about reenactments. <laughs> so, for the first time in a long time, reenactment free. <laughs> stamp on it, USDA stamp. <laughs> That made it simpler to put together um, and a little bit less costly. I had a lot of really, really good people working on this movie from uh, John Kiesiak's score to Bob Chappell's photography uh, to Mark Lipson and Julian Oliver who produced the film. But there are a whole lot of details in this that really worked out well. The graphics were extraordinary. <laughs> and the mix was extraordinary. All of the sound effects in this have created a, a rich tapestry. goes very, very well with the simplicity of the visuals. So I like the movie. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> I don't always come away liking something that I've made. Often it takes me a while, but this one I, I liked. And it's really a terrific thing for me to come and see it with an audience, particularly an audience that has responded so enthusiastically. So thank you all.